Putting off parenthood. A new study shows that American women are waiting longer to start those families. Tonight we have a look at how the numbers are shifting and what's behind the change. Motherhood postponed. According to a new report from the U.S. Census Bureau, over the last three decades, birth rates for women in their 20s have declined, but they've increased for women in their late 30s and early 40s. It's a trend that's pushed the median age for U.S. women giving birth from 27 to 30, the highest on record. Fertility rates for women between the ages of 20 and 25 fell by almost 43%. The drop is 22 percent for women ages 25 to 29. But on the other hand, the rate has jumped 57 percent for women between the ages of 35 and 39 and skyrocketed by more than 132 percent for women between 40 and 44. Over the last few decades, the biggest changes were seen among foreign-born women and black women. Experts say the changes come from college-educated women investing in their educations and careers to be better off financially when they start families. Working-class women waiting for financial security has also factored into the shift. In the past, they say families relied on children for income, putting them to work in the fields or on farms. But in the last century or so, U.S. parents have become more invested in their children's futures, offering more support for education and into young adulthood. Now, researchers at the Guttmacher Institute, an organization that supports abortion rights, says overturning the Roe v. Wade decision could have an impact on this trend as well. Most unintended pregnancies are among teens and women in their 20s and more end in abortion. And we should also point out that the group says that ending that precedent would likely shift the starting age of childbearing back toward younger ages. The Supreme Court is expected to issue an official opinion on Roe v. Wade sometime this month. A decision could even come as soon as within the next few days.